So I'm like, um, I'm actually leaving the house. I'm going to I'll do some meetings in North York and then maybe meet my friend, Mani Manho, who also lives in North York, where he's staying in North York. I didn't get the button. I've just been standing in the lift and forgot it. That's so embarrassing. Anyway, at this time, it should take about 30 minutes to get to North York, inshallah. And then, uh, yeah, let's, let's go for an outing. Oh, also, I'm going to try and get a haircut while I'm there. You can't tell, but you can't tell, but it's it's been like two hours since you last saw me. I uh, went for a couple of meetings, and now I'm at Bayview Village, which is a nice little, little shopping mall type thing. And uh, I've come here to get a haircut because my next meeting. Actually, it's not meeting. I'm meeting a friend at like 5.30-ish. Uh, so I have time. Right now it's... What time? Wait. Right now it's quarter past three. So I'm going to take advantage of this. And grab a coffee. Get a haircut. I used to come here all the time because I lived in this area. But it feels nice to be here again. When I say it's small, like this is one end. And then... Like that, that, that is the other end. So it's not huge, but it's nice. Brilliant. Could I get one blueberry scone, please? Uh, for here, please. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I think I panicked and got a spawn scone. But I saw like a biscotti thing. I think I would rather have that. Why did I do that? Let's see how the latte tastes. Fine. Fine. And let's see how this scone tastes. Fine. I do appreciate that it wasn't like super expensive like most places are here. I think I paid $9.80 for all of this, including tax, which is not bad. And they didn't even prompt me for a tip, which is a very big thing here in Canada. Also, I've just clocked. Isn't this scone like just huge? Like, aren't they meant to be smaller? All right, I really enjoyed that actually. Um, I need to find somewhere to pray. This, this is one thing I really miss about about being in Dubai is that it's so easy to find somewhere to pray. I have my grandma as my prayer mat, so I could just like find a corner and pray there. But let's see. There he is, my man. All right, all done. Just come outside. The sun is close to setting, which means it's close to Maghrib time. I'm waiting for my Uber back. Um, man, getting a haircut is just so like satisfying. And it's so like relaxing and I feel like a new person after I get a haircut and I love it. By the way, that was uh, Brother Beatus in that uh, clip and uh, he is my go-to guy in Toronto. So if you're in North York especially, specifically, then please go meet him or me. He's at uh, Bayview Village. Man, I'm home now. I was in the car for an hour and 
boy oh boy do i get car sick like i get really nauseous when i'm staying in the back seat or with certain people driving i'm just very used to sitting either in the front seat or driving myself so i need like a seven up or something all right i just prayed maghrib and let me tell you something okay alhamdulillah for having to pray because if i didn't have to pray i wouldn't have like done the motions of salah and just doing that i like, really like helped me feel less stiff after sitting in the car for so long i felt really like stiff and kind of nauseous my nausea is still kind of there but i don't feel as stiff anymore and i was thinking like oh that's the same thing in the morning actually when i get up to pray fajr i often feel like very like i don't feel that great but after i pray then suddenly there's like some movement in my joints and all and it feels really nice so alhamdulillah man like little things of salah that you just don't think about so anyway i'm just walking around the apartment right now aimlessly but really what i'm going to do is i'm going to eat some food cuz i'm hungry um uh, all i ate today was that co- uh, that co- cone <sighs> that scone and um coffee so i want to have some proper food since i just prayed maghrib that means the whole day is gone i've been pretty bad with like eating food today cuz i haven't done it yet properly so i want to do that then i actually need to do something really random i have this like shower caddy in the bathroom wait let me just show you so i have this shower caddy and it was up here and it fell cuz the suction on this suction thing got loose i guess so it fell and it left some marks in the top like these like black marks and at first i was really stressed out because i thought i thought that was really bad cuz i thought i destroyed the tub and i was really like worried cuz this is in my apartment so one i was worried that oh no i messed up someone else's like stuff and two i was worried that this is going to be so expensive to fix but then i did a quick google search and i found i found out that use one of these magic eraser things a bit of warm water get a bit of warm water and uh soak it in it and then start scrubbing and it just comes off so luckily it wasn't damage to the tub more than it was just the the paint of the caddy coming off basically so alhamdulillah for that so that's one random thing i need to do i need to eat as well i have some work to do I got my laundry to fold and yes it's all the same color I wear one color okay it it works out in my favor most of the time I don't have to think about what I'm doing I stick on jeans and I stick on a t-shirt and I'm done like that's all I have to think about now what I'm more curious about is what am I eating let's see so I got some beef shawarma with garlic sauce let's see let's see let's see ooh okay Okay, okay. What else we got? We got Ooh, we got a chapli kebab with rice. Ooh. Oh, buddy boy. And the last thing tandoori chicken. Oh, I've had that a few times. I think I'm going to go with the chapli kebab. That's what I'm feeling. Post dinner lunch. Dinner? It's quite late when I had food. but i feel like having something sweet so i got i try to keep a box of dates around at all times many cuz like they seem to never go bad and also the delicious and asana these are uh sukari dates they're probably my favorite next to ajwa but yeah these are delicious i'll have like 2 3 right now probably 3 odd numbers that's asana as well and then i'm going to go sort out the tub all right yeah Yep, that's pretty warm. Then you get the whole thing. Nice. Rinse it out of excess. Come over here and please go away. Is it good? I think it is good. It's very slowly going. Okay. Oh. Oh, a little bit of elbow grease. Let's go. Okay. 
Thank God. That was stressful. Jesus. Yo, this thing is sick. Why doesn't everyone have one of these? That's why it's called Magic Eraser. Because it's magic. And just for reference, this is a regular cloth with some water. Same water. See this mark? Bruv, it, it doesn't go. Like, no matter how hard I scrub it, it's not gonna go. If I take this, which is now dry, I have to add water to it. Look at that, man! Holy, this is sick! Alright, I hope you can hear me because... I'm bringing laundry. All right. Um, okay, I'm actually gonna put all of these here. And then I'm gonna grab them one by one. This is like one of the best things I've done is get this kitchen island because obviously I use it, or I used to use it a lot for cooking and it's given me a lot more counter space, but also gives me a place I can, um, oh, don't zoom in. Oh God, this kitchen island was actually one of the best purchases I've ever made because not only did it give me more space for like kitchen activities, but I can use it to fold my laundry. I don't have any other like taller surface area for that. And I actually got this from Ikea and uh, shout out to my sibling Maya because she found this in the Ikea like pre-owned section and because of that it was half off the only caveat was i had to <laughs> i had to take it fully assembled and when i was trying to just take it a little bit apart so it would fit in the car i kind of cracked the wood of it it's mdf so it's not like real thick wood but like still it was unfortunate but yeah got it half off great purchase I'm gonna take it with me to vancouver but no idea if it's gonna fit in the place I'm going to get in Vancouver because I don't have a place in Vancouver yet. But yeah, this is one of the original Ziab tees. You can tell by this and not negative, just realistic. Um, it's still going. Quality was sick. I mean, I don't wear it out in public anymore, but it's still like the stitching is held up. The fabrics held up. The colors faded, obviously. It's been like, oh God, it's been like five years, maybe even over five years, maybe five and a half years, something like that. And it's still like, considering I wore it once a week, every week for like three years straight, it's still like held up pretty well, you know? <sighs> you know? I was uh, with my sisters last year, visiting them in Vancouver, and uh, we did a load of laundry. And they were kind of surprised at the folding I did. Apparently it was good. I'm not saying I'm an expert at folding, because I'm not. But this seems like a basic like folding situation, right? Like, it doesn't look incredible, does it? I mean, I guess I owned a clothing brand, so I know a little bit about folding clothes, but like, bro is it is it not just normal to know how to fold clothes maybe not it's actually really fun thinking about the fact that things you believe are normal and do like on a regular basis maybe you or your family someone else is gonna say that's completely like foreign to them and that's such a beautiful thing about life that everything is normal and is <laughs> normal all at the same time and so you just have to accept that everyone is different and that's okay. You just do what seems right to you in it. And that's all that really matters. You know, speaking of Ziab, here's a different brand I was kind of working on. I'm still kind of working on it. It's just not been my top priority at the moment. It's called Seek and Arm, which, oh, Seek and Arm, which means seek in English to look for or find. And Inam in Urdu, which means reward or present as a whole idea of like building a brand that looks to seek reward from god and the main thing like i had in mind with it was that i'm going to make designs that i would like to wear but also i want to just give 50 percent of profits to charity like that's just inbuilt 
into the essentially the USB, like the unique selling proposition is 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 that it's clothing for the ummah, by the ummah, for the ummah. <laughs> if that makes sense. Wait, let me whip out one of the designs that help explain it a bit better. So this is a sample from a little while ago, maybe like two years ago. But here's the design, nothing insane, but it was based on the verse that says we created you in pairs. And I was thinking how sick would it be if you have like this, another design of like a different culture, maybe like uh, Desi culture, so Shravartanis, or maybe like, um, traditional like african dresses which are really colorful it's going to be four or five designs which would be like the theme for this drop and uh, it's all based on we created you in pairs and then when i say for them it's like people like me who like these kind of i don't want to say streetwear but okay let's say streetwear for now because i don't know exactly how to define it but like streetwear type graphic tees so for the umma and by the umma as in like well anyone can like collaborate in this thing i don't mind you got a sick design idea like let me know okay then i'll make it and then maybe we can figure out some sort of split where if it was your design then we can you know you should get you should get paid for what you did because it's your work i don't know the logistics and then for the umma by the umma for the umma because 50% of profit will go to charity to help people in need. And so with that, it would be like, okay, not only do you get the benefit of, well, you buy something and you get it and it looks beautiful and it's good quality and it's comfortable. And the design actually means something. It's not just like a t-shirt that says broccoli across it or something done like that. But then also because you bought it, half your, like some of your money will go towards charity. Then from my perspective, some of my profit goes to charity. And like, it just becomes this whole circle of just giving and getting, and essentially seeking it out, <laughs> finding the reward. So yeah, that was the whole idea behind that. I need to find a smart way of doing it because I tried print on demand. The problem with print on demand is like the, the quality really differs from you know the person printing to the company printing to the shirt it's being printed on and there's just too many variables my hope is that eventually i can get it like made in a factory and just do like small batch runs alternatively i could do like i could do a whole pre-order system where you will pre-order the t-shirt and then I know how many I need to get made and that way there's no waste either because that's the last thing I want I don't want wasted you know t-shirts that I just made and no one wants them because that's that's a waste obviously but I also don't want that's also a waste of money so I don't know man I'm thinking about it I'm working on it this was just a really long ramble while I fold laundry and it's irrelevant to anything in my life right now because I'm way too busy with other stuff. But you know, you never know how the year is gonna go. Maybe at some point it makes sense to start. Maybe it makes sense to start, you know, next month. Or maybe it makes sense to start in six months or maybe next year or two years. And if someone else beats me to it, then great. You know, like I'm all for it. I can still do it. Clothing is the type of thing that like, there's no, there's no like monopoly as such in the sense that people don't typically buy just one brand of clothing. Not the average person, at least. And so as long as you have something that someone will want to buy and wear, not this, <laughs> although this was from my sister, so thank you, Mom. It doesn't matter. Like, there's still enough market share for you to, like, do your thing. And I don't even know if I necessarily want the clothing thing to become, like, a major, a major money maker. I mean, it'd be nice, obviously. If it just gave Sadako on my behalf, then wouldn't that be beautiful from my perspective? And then whoever buys the product from their perspective as well. And obviously it needs to be good quality. It needs to be good quality, good customer service, good, good, not just like good 
t-shirt quality, good print quality, good stitching. It should last you. I don't like the whole idea of fast fashion and how quickly like cheap things are made and then people are exploited for that. I, as you can tell from my Ziab shirt, I like buying things that last. That's just who I am. I don't like wasting. I keep the same thing for years and years before I have to replace it. Like even the Ziab shirt, it's no longer like in a state where wearing it out in public makes sense. But I can still wear it at home because it's still good quality. And if there was a process, there might be to re-dye the shirt. And I might even consider that, you yeah. know? Okay, now I really need to stop rambling and finish this. Go away. I just grabbed all the bathroom floor mats from both bathrooms, stuck them in there. Now they're gonna be washing, heavy duty cycle, let's go. One Tide Pod, some Dettol, clean tomorrow, inshallah. I'm actually gonna end the vlog there because, well, I've prayed. It's now 10.30. I'd like an early night tonight because I've been having some very late nights and I'm just really tired, to be honest. Alhamdulillah, productive day. Not as much work was done, like business work, but I got a lot of personal things and other small things done, so I'm, I'm happy about that. Tomorrow will be a busy work day. I also have cleaning people coming. I don't know what the hell I'm going to vlog tomorrow. If I'm going to vlog tomorrow or not, we shall see. I've actually really been <laughs> enjoying vlogging. I haven't looked at a single piece of footage, but I've, I've been vlogging for like four days now, five days now. I don't even know. And uh, it feels very like, it feels good. <laughs> like... It feels almost like therapeutic. Just like, I already talk to myself a lot because I'm alone. And if you don't talk to yourself when you're alone, you're just lying because everyone talks to themselves alone. But now it feels like I have someone to talk to. So <laughs> I know it sounds crazy. I'm crazy. Alhamdulillah. That's where I end my vlog today. Thank you for watching. Inshallah, I'll see you on the next one. And uh, yeah. Allah